Okay, so this is gonna be very short and uh, simple tutorial on Jmeter. So I'm gonna cover four things: sending the simple HTTP GET request, then sending simple HTTP POST request, then uh, doing the code edition. That means taking the extracting the data from the response of the first request and sending that data in the next request. So that is correlation that we will see. And uh, finally, I'm gonna show you how you can parameterize the requests. For example, you want to send the same request but with the different parameters using CSV file. So it's very simple but a very informative tutorial. I hope you will enjoy it. So first uh, request is this one, simple HTTP GET request. And we are going to do the assertion as well. So first of all, let me tell you what request we are going to send. So I have got post one here. And I'm gonna send the HTTP GET request to uh, this endpoint, which is GET album. Okay. So I'm gonna send a request to this endpoint, and the response you can see here: user ID one, ID one. This is album ID, and title of the album is this one. So let us see how to send the request to this HTTP endpoint through Jmeter. So what you have to do is you have to create a test plan. Just go here and then click on New and then new test plan will be created for you. So I have already created this test plan, web test plan. The next thing you have to do is you have to right click and then click on add threads and then thread group. Okay, so after you add the thread group, the element uh, with this gear icon will be created and there you can give the threads. So I have given this threads, number of threads, one ramp up period, one second and loop count one. So initially we are going to just send single request, but if you want to send multiple requests, you can put number of threads as five. But for the simplicity, I'm just gonna put one. Once this is done, next thing that you need to do is, you need to create a HTTP sampler. Now HTTP sampler is basically used to send the HTTP request. So you have to right click on this thread group and then click on add sampler and then go to HTTP request. So once you click on that, this HTTP request will be created with the sampler. So basically in this sampler, uh, if you click on that, on the right hand side, you will see the settings for that sampler. So the settings uh, for the HTTP sampler are web server, like the server that we are going to hit, then HTTP request uh, path, HTTP request method. So HTTP can have multiple methods like that gate post head etc so depending upon your circumstances you can select the method so for our example we are going to send the get request and as you can see in the path i have given albums slash one because that is the one that we want to hit and if you notice here server name we have kept empty the reason why we have kept empty is because instead of uh, setting this server here we can use HTTP uh, request defaults element. So as you can see here, I've added that one. So basically what that does is that we can uh, set the server name here. And what ha happens is that all the HTTP samplers in your test plan will use this server because most of the times server name remains same. All work, uh, that changes is the path. So this one you will have to change depending upon what endpoint you are hitting. So server name uh, remains same. That's why we are putting that server name here in the HTTP request default. So in your case, your server may be different. So you can put it there. And you can also set the protocol port number as well if you want. If your server is running on different port. By default, it runs on 80. So I'm just gonna keep it empty. So we have given here a server name, which is coming through the HTTP request default. Then uh, request method, we have set it as get and the path is set as this one. Now we are not going to send any parameters, body data, etc. because it is a simple gate request. So everything is set up properly. All we have to do is just click on this button and then this get album, this request will be executed. So just right click and then let us execute this request. So let us click on start but first of all let me 
clear here and let me run this one start on the head thread group let me click on the start and if you go to this view results tree you can see this get album this request is executed and uh, this view results tree is basically a listener you can add that by just right clicking here and then going to add listener view results tree so what it does is that whatever request we send those requests are logged here so you can see the one request was sent we can see the details of that request on the right hand side request details request about request headers and the response data response body and response headers we can see on the right hand side so that's it first test is completed but we haven't uh, done the assertion yet so to do the assertions like to check the response is correct what we have to do is right click on the sampler click on add assertions and the response assertion so i have already added here so you can see here this assertion is added and uh, you can see uh, we can do different types of assertions like what field we want to test text response or the response code url etc etc so here we are checking that the response contains this particular word any and you can see uh, in our postman the response contains any as you can see here so that is what we are testing here and you can see the response uh, was correct that's why our uh, test passed so i'm gonna just fail this test just to make sure that it doesn't work uh, it it will uh, show it here in the red color now i'm gonna just clear this one and then run it so when you are running you have to click on the thread group and then click on start so if i go to the view results tree now you can see the test is failed and it will also show you why the test failed it is saying text expected to contain nmd so nmd is not there and that's why the test failed so that's how you can uh, execute very simple uh, http get request i hope uh, so far everything is clear to you so now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to uh, move to the next request that is http post request so it is similar to the get request only thing is that method is different and uh, with http post most of the times we send the json uh, payload to the server so let us see how to do that so again the thread group uh, same settings are there i have put one here number of threads for the simplicity and i have added another uh, http sampler here post album so let me show you in the postman what we are doing here so if you want to uh, send the post request you have to obviously select the method as post and then this one is the endpoint that we are calling and you can see uh, we are sending one payload body in the body in the json format so this is the body that we are sending user id and title and if you just send it what happens is a new album is created on the server so you can see new album is created so i said so you can see uh, whatever album we uh, asked the server to create this, uh, that album is created and then response is sent back so what we are going to do is we are going to simulate this in the geometer so once you uh, added this http sampler you can rename it like this so this sampler is similar to the get request uh, all we have done here is we have renamed it to the post album and then uh, in the configuration you will have to click on body data because we want to send the json body and this is how we send it so we have to put the json body that we want to send and another thing that we want to do here is we want to send the header as well uh, the header uh, which says content type as application json so you can see content type we are sending that header so in addition to this if you want to send extra headers for example most of the times you will have to send the token as well so you can click add and then send the token as well okay so coming back to this uh, post request uh, you can notice that the HTTP request method is post we have selected and the path is albums because that is the path that we are going to hit as you can see here 
this is the path server name will be taken from the HTTP defaults that's it we are ready to execute this uh, request but before that let me show you the assertion as well so in assertion uh, we are checking that new album is displayed in the response so whatever you uh, send it to the server the same response comes back from the server so in your case uh, the request will be different response will be different and accordingly you can change these settings so let us run this but before that let me clear this uh, result listener and let us try to execute this now run it let's start so you can see the post album is successful and the response was also successful so that's how you can run it so before we move to the next one let me run this once again just to make sure that it is working or not okay that one is working as well now uh, moving on to the next one third one correlation and extraction so correlation extraction so what we do here is that we uh, extract some information from the response and send it into the next request so uh, this is very uh, frequent scenario like most likely you will face this in all the applications so uh, for example you have to uh, send the request to the server to get the token and then the server responds with the token in the response what you have to do is you have to grab that token and then send that token as a header into the next request so in that kind of situations what you can do is you can use the correlation so let us see how to do that so what we are doing here is we are uh, getting one album okay you can ignore this part i will explain it later on so we are hitting uh, the get album endpoint and then uh, we are uh, extracting user id from that album so you can see uh, here extract user id this thing is written i will remove the assertion because we have already uh, seen this so you can see there is one extraction uh, regular expression extractor is there and we are extracting the user id so from the response uh, this is how we can extract the user id and putting it in the variable whose name is user id so regular expression user id dot star and then uh, so this is basically regular expression and there are several ways in which you can write regular expressions so whatever you want to extract we put it into dot star that uh, special characters uh, that are used in the regular expression and then once something is matched then that uh, you can extract using this uh, syntax dollar one dollar and then match number one so we are going to extract that user id and put it into this variable and you can ignore this json extractor post processors uh, i will explain that later on so what we have done here is we have just extracted the user id and put it into this variable now next thing uh, that we have to do is we have to get the email address of that user so we know the user id now and it is very simple to get the email so what we can do is you can use this variable as you can see you can use the variable like this dollar user id and uh, request is get so what is going to happen is this uh, request if you send it is going to respond with the email address for this user and we are going to do the assertion so you can see we are doing the assertion here and the email address for that user is this one so i know that because i know uh, uh, th that is how uh, the database is configured so we are doing the assertion here and is it added in json so we can extract that information using json extractor as well as you can see uh, this is the syntax dollar dot and then proper name and uh, here you have to do the one that is a uh, first match so what happens is that user id is uh, stored in that variable and then we can use it in the subsequent requests so it is as simple as that i hope this correlation is uh, 
is easy to understand or if it is not easy just let me do the comments and i will uh, try to explain it again okay so we have covered this uh, get request post request correlation and extract extractor now the last thing that i want to cover is how to uh, parameterize the test for example we have got http get uh, request here but what we want to do is so this request is actually uh, similar to the first one the only difference that uh, we have done in this request is that if you look at the threads we have put the thread number as two so this request will be sent twice and another thing is that we are using csv data set config so the data is in this file data.csv let me show you that so if you can see here data.csv is here and what is going to happen is that this data is going to be used when sending the request so there is id and name so let us see how that data is being used so there are some settings related to that csv so you can ignore for now and let's come back to the request so if you look here in the path albums dollar id so what we are doing here is that id is coming from that csv file so it is being parameterized so we are no longer sending this request with a static data as in the first request so you can see here in this request if you look at the http git request we are sending it to the static uh, user id but in this one we are uh, using the variable from the csv because uh, we have configured this here and we are doing the assertion as well so if you look at the assertion as well uh, the in the assertion we have also parameterized that because each user has got different name so let us run this and see what happens let me clear this and then let me run this one so as you can see this request is going to be sent twice so let me run this and if i look at the view results tree Uh, I'm not sure why this is executed that many times. It's running that many times. Oh, no. So you can see here uh, this request, uh, this one, this request got executed twice. And if you look at the request and response, the user ID will be different. For example, in this request, user id is albums one in this request the user id uh, the url is different so that is how you can configure and the uh, response will also be different for the, them so that's it i hope uh, you enjoyed this session in the next session i will explain you how you can execute this test through the command line thanks for watching this video